Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I just wanted to go over a quick animation that I found and I really wanted to recreate. So this animation is basically a mobile animation. When you click the menu, it drops down. It like scales from the from the top down to the bottom. It covers the whole page and these links like come in smoothly from the bottom and then when you close it they disappear in a really nice way. I, I really, really liked it and wanted to give it a try. In order to recreate this, I started with this little website that I found from a YouTube tutorial, which I will link in the description because it's actually a really nice. Okay, so taking a look at the code, here I have the navigation links, which I'm using the same ones as this website just to make it look the same so it's an array with an object with objects of title of the link and href which basically goes nowhere we also have a menu button here well it's a div but i'm using it as a button so on click we're going to toggle the state to from true to false basically we'll open our menu here and close it Okay, so now I'm gonna create the div that will house the menu. And now let's create a container. Okay, and so I'll just quickly style this and give this the appearance. And we will pass in the on click function to toggle the menu. And this is just called toggle menu. Okay, so now for the links, I'm basically gonna map through each link and give it the href and the title. Here, it'll be much easier if I create a component for each link, just for clarity. So I'll go ahead and do this. And I'll give it a title of the link title and an href of link dot href and this also needs a key since it's uh, mapping and i'll just give this the index key and let's go ahead and create this component right here and this will take in the title the href and here we'll just have a div and we'll have a link component and I'm wrapping the link component in a div because as you'll see it later, this will become an issue. Okay, so we got the links, now let's style them. Here I'm using a font that I imported to my app through the next font. So I import here and we use the subsets, weights and the variable. So I'm passing in the font as a variable and then I can extend here on Tailwind config the font variable in order to use it as, as a variable. Okay, so they're in the middle. Let's give them some other classes. Okay, so these should look fairly similar. The text could be a little bit bigger. Now, as you can see, this doesn't work. It is toggling the state, but it doesn't work. In order to make this menu appear and disappear, we'll have to actually render this conditionally. So if, if it's open, then we can render out our JSX, else we cannot. And here, let's just move this up some levels. That should be nice. Okay, so this should work. Okay, so the easiest way to recreate an animation is to break down the animation into parts. As we can see, this has several parts. So at the beginning, it opens from the top down. And then we also have these links coming in from the top up. And we also have like a little staggered effect. So let's tackle each one by one. So to start with the beginning from the top down, let's first import our motion from frame or motion. Okay, so this motion attribute will allow us to animate any element or any HTML element that we want. Let's give our div a motion attribute, so motion.div. And with this, now it can be animated. So now let's create the variants for this animation. Okay, so I will start by creating some menu variants 
which is going to be an object. Okay, and this will have an initial animation, which is going to be a scale y of 0. That way, the menu will be at 0 at the beginning, so then we can scale it down to its original height. For the animate portion, we will have a scale y of 1, which will bring it to its original height and we need an exit property to close it back down so this will scale it back to zero now what we do here is go to our motion div and give it variance and we called these menu vars and then we need to define what's going to happen well we want the initial to happen and then when we animate this we want animate and also for an exit when it leaves, basically when the component unmounts, we want exit. Now if we save this, try it out, we can see that it's being kind of funky. So it's actually scaling from the middle and when we close it, it just disappears and it nothing's happening. Whenever you have an exit, we need to use animation presence, which is a component that frame motion provides. Basically, it allows you to animate components that get mounted and unmounted from the DOM. So now if we see this, we can see it closing, but again, it's closing very weirdly. And this is because it's actually closing and opening from the middle. And to fix this, we have to specify that the origin is from the top. So now if we try it out, you see it works, but it's a little bit too fast. For, to fix this, we'll have to specify a transition and we'll set a duration. We'll set a duration 4.5. Let's try it out. Okay, so kind of works. Now we specify an ease function and this is the function that I found that works best with the animation. Now for the exit, we also need a duration and a function. And for the exit, we can't have the same function because it's kind of different. If, if you take a look, it just leaves. So I found these two to be the best for this animation. Now the second part is to animate the links. So taking a look at the animation, we see that the links come in from the bottom up and leave down to the bottom. So to do this, we'll create a motion div for our mobile link and let's create some variants for this. So cons, and you can name these whatever you like. I'm just naming these. Initially, we want our link to be at a Y value of 30 viewport right so this would be at the bottom and now what we want is when the menu is open we want to animate these to zero so basically back to their spot and we will give this a duration of 0.5 and for the open a duration of 7. Okay, so now we pass in the variant, mobile link vars. Then we give it an initial property, which will be initial, and an animate property, which we called open. Okay, let's see if it's working. Okay, so as we can see, they are moving from the bottom up, but one, they're not staggered, and two, they're not appearing from anywhere. And this is because we need to specify a div here that will be a wrapper to this link. We'll give this a class name of overflow dash hidden, which will hide the components, the links behind them. Okay, so now if we give this a try, as you can see, it they come out, but they come out really fast and they're not staggered. This took me a long time to figure out. This is why this video has taken me forever to record. I was trying to do this animation for over a week now and I really, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I really couldn't figure it out. Okay, so to stagger your children, we have to use the motion div, right? Of course, but it has to be a direct parent. 
what I was doing is I was giving the staggered effect to the menu and not the actual parent container. So here we just pass in variant and I'm gonna just call this container uh, vars. To create these, we just do container vars. So for the initial state, you want to specify a transition. And here we just say we want to stagger children and then how much stagger effect and I'll use 0.9. Then we will give this an open animation. So when it opens, we also want to stagger it. So the initial ones, this will be when they close, when they leave. And this open one will affect when it opens. So we will specify staggered children again. And I will give this 0 0.09. Now we actually need to specify that we want the initial to be equal to the initial and the animate to animate. And since we are specifying the initial and the animate in the parent, we actually don't need to say that down to the children. I messed up here. It's supposed to be say open. There we go. Now they're staggering. Perfect. But still something's off. First of all, we should add in an ease function to these links. And I found these to be the best. I'll just paste them in because it took me a while to figure these out, but this is what looks the best. It gives this nice smooth effect. But as you can see, the menu is closing super fast and it doesn't allow you to see the effect like the animation does. So to fix this, we go here to the staggered effect. And for the open, we're actually going to give another property called delay children. And this will be a 0 0.3. Okay, now, as we can see, the menu actually opens halfway and then we animate the children. But still on the close, it just leaves. To, to fix this, all we have to do is give the exit a delay of 0.5. Okay, so now we specify an exit for the container and this is just going to be initial again. Okay, so now as we can see, they are exiting, but they're exiting from the top. Okay, in order to fix this for the initial, we want the stagger direction to be negative one and for the open to be one. So when it's open, they're actually going to stagger from the top down. And when it's closing, it will stagger from the bottom up. And there we have it. That's the animation complete. As you can see, it looks very similar to the animation I try to recreate. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to post more animation tutorials. So stay tuned if you want to see more. I'll link the website tutorial that I mentioned at the beginning in the description as well as where I got the inspiration for this animation. I also have a link down in the description of the GitHub where you can clone this repository to recreate this animation yourself. And if you have any comments, any suggestions of videos that you'll want me to see me make, please leave them down in the comments and thanks for watching.